G'day. In today's video, I'm just going to do a simple unboxing of a Oppo A16S. This particular one is a Telstra locked one. But if we open up the box itself, we see that that and that. And we have one Oppo A16S. It's a 4 gig model, 16 gig of storage. And this one costs around 229 Australian dollars prepaid. So this, I'm assuming, will slide out like so. Box itself doesn't feel quite to the same level as Apple, but still, still feels fairly rigid, solid. So, first of all, what do we get inside here? Hoping a cover or a case. Bingo. I like how the budget phones do this. Recycle responsibly. Assume warranty. Basic use. Oh, must have a headphone jack. Pair of headphones here. I have a Type C charging cable, USB A to Type C. And the charging block itself which looks to be a 5 volt 2 amp, so don't expect really any quick charge off this, or fast charge, but that should be still okay. Look at the phone itself. Very plasticky. And I see that they've gone very much a S20 fan edition look to it, especially with here. Comparing it to one here. So very much an S20 Fan edition look alike. We do have a glossy material rather than a satin material on the Samsung. Do have pretty much all the Oppo details here, how to actually contact them. It's a full street address with the model number CPH2271. Buttons themselves. Got a different approach. Some tray up here. Press and hold the power button. Does feel fairly rattly the clicker on the power button. The volume up and down do feel better. Let's pop this open here. Let's see what we get. We have single SIM and SD card support. The front of it does look similar to like an A20, an A Samsung A20, A30. The back of it looking similar to the S20 fan edition. Looking at it, we do also have just a film protector installed on there, which seems to be what Samsung is also doing nowadays. So off the screen, the viewing angles of it to me don't look too bad. I would be guessing we are a we're an LCD, not an OLED on this particular one. Being how there's a slight discolouring around the edges there that I can see when I tilt it around. Overall, still an alright screen. We are definitely running at 60 hertz. Uh, later, later, next, next, next. Do you like the lack of actual settings that you have to click on to get there, as opposed to something like an iPhone? Uh, looking at it, it does look very color OS, aka Oppo. It will be out phone, Android version 11, octa core, 4 gig of RAM, 49.1 gig available. Yeah, looking very Oppo. Anyway, let's see what it looks like in here. case at the bottom doesn't have a protection protective flap over it. Very much reminds me of a Poco M3 in size and just feel of the buttons. So if you're familiar with that, probably be rather familiar with the overall performance of one of these. Anyway, hope that helps and I'll see you later. Bye.